At the 2019 IAAF World Championships, some new innovations are going to be displayed. All the starting blocks are going to be equipped with block cams. So that's two miniature cameras that are going to be installed at each starting block that are going to provide a new dimension of the coverage of all of the sprint events. So from when the athletes settle into the blocks to the facial expressions of when they hear the gun and release that explosion of energy as they leave the blocks. That's pretty cool, right? No, that's not cool. Could you imagine having to do your job with someone in your face like this? How about if that was millions of people? Going out on the line and settling into the blocks, it's a very sacred place for the athletes. It's a place where athletes want to feel like they can own, to feel, to do, to say, whatever they want. That's my space. In my talks with other sprinters about these block camps, the reviews haven't been favorable. And those who didn't have anything bad to say about the block camps didn't even know they existed. Some athletes are legitimately camera shy. Now the cameras in the distance, you can ignore those ones, but is it easy to get over being camera shy when the camera's literally a couple of feet from your face? Literally right in your face. And do you need this on your mind in some of the most high pressure situations? Can you imagine having to shoot some free throws with the free throw cam? Literally right in your face. Came up a little short on that one. Yeah. What about being on the 18th hole and having to hit a do or die putt in golf as the putt cam approaches? Oh no. All up in your face. Perhaps the athletes should have the option to turn their block cam on or off. Are there microphones on these cameras too? Is there a penalty for covering the camera with some tape? Could you have your block cam sponsored? Over time, I'm sure that this will just become a part of the international sprinting culture. And I understand that you gotta be viewer friendly. But this right here though, the athlete should have had some say so in this.